Hi there and welcome to this channel. I'm Kate Dillon. In today's video, we're going to take a look at using Canva in order to make an overlay that we're going to use in StreamYard. Now, Canva is such a useful software that I use. Oh my gosh, we use it multiple times a day for creating graphics for my business. Um, but I've also been doing an entire entire series on using StreamYard. So we're going to specifically make a overlay like the kind. Well, you know, I'll, I'll just give you an idea so that, you know, hey, well, there's one right there that I made in Canva. <laughs> but um, I want to make one where it's just me. Maybe it's calling out my Instagram account. So let's go ahead and go on over to Canva and let me show you here. So we're at canva.com. I'm already logged in and I do have a pro account. So there might be some features in here that um, that you may not see in your account if you but it's completely free to use. It just has some other cool tools that too, you can use when you're doing it pro. And when we click a look at all your designs, I mean, we literally use this so much. There are like probably thousands and thousands of the things that are in here. But uh, any of my thumbnails for all of our YouTube channels, Instagram, we use this for tons of stuff. So let's go ahead and create a design. And this is the important part here is we want to make this a custom size. So knowing that we're going to use this for StreamYard, we're going to use it 1280 by 720 is going to be the size of our canvas. Now for this background, I'm going to go ahead and make this black just for, um, just so we can see it. That's that's all. Um, I, I want to be able to just know if I wanted to, I could even bring in like in my uploads. Um, let's just take a look at Canva really quick. There's templates here, uploads, photos. This is from a stock photo library. Um, elements is going to be squares. We're going to go through some of this. We've got text, um, styles, and that's part of the branding thing. Audio, this is brand new. Um, videos is new. And so there's a lot to explore in here. Uh, but for our particular purposes, uh, then we're going to use uh, some of the elements. So some of the elements here, I'm going to go ahead and put in, um, I like rectangles. We're just going to make this a different color. And let's see, my branding colors are, here's like Kate Dillon, that could be like orange or black. And yeah, I guess it didn't help me that I have this black background because um, really it's going to be blank is whoops. Here we go. You just click on an element like this and then pick a color. I'm just going to pick a color. There we go. And we're going to send that to the back. OK. All right. So everything's the same color right now, which doesn't help us. So that here, let's make this one. See this little color block right here. And there we go. I'm just going to make it black for right this minute and put that in the center. In fact, I can click on position to get it into the center because I'm usually sitting in the center of the screen. Um, then another element we might use is let's use a triangle and we're just gonna scale this down till it's that size. I think that's kind of a cool thing there. There we go. And let's make that black as well. And now, um, what I could do, I'm just going to show you how I kind of created the other. This is frames and I could put this frame in right here and I can bring in a picture. So if I just double click on that, well, in fact, my little triangle should go to the other end then if I'm going to do a picture here, just like that. And then I can double click this or I think it's in photos. So if I, oh, uploads, this is going to be my photos. So if I find a picture of my face somewhere, there we go, like there's my face and I can drop it in there and I can double click it and that way it moves it around. But what I really want to do is I also want to add like my Instagram handle. And so I'm going to move these up here like this. And I want to add my Instagram handle. So we're going to look in photos and I'm going to type in Instagram. There we go. And hopefully, there we go, Instagram logo. And there we go, there's the Instagram logo. I just clicked on it and went right inside of here. And so there we go. I'm gonna put the Instagram logo right there. And then now let's add some text right here. And that is going to be this text deal. 
and I'm going to cl just click on add a heading and I'm going to add my name. Now, I don't particularly love this font here. Well, I do, but not for this. So um, first of all, I'm going to change the color, though. I'm going to change it to white and I'm going to move this down. And then um, I'm just going to select all this, click in that box and then select the text. Now, there's one in here called, let me see, Interstate maybe. Um, let me see if I like this one. I like that okay. It's a little bit, there we go. That's good. And I'm going to click on that here. And now we need to add my Instagram handle. And in fact, this ended up being a little bit longer than it needs to be. So we're just going to do this. There we go. And to add my Instagram handle, let's just go ahead and copy that. So I click on that. I'm going to push on this plus sign to duplicate and put this down here. And it's it's actually the same thing. So it's just going to be, but I'm going to put it all in smalls. So I'm going to put at 8 villain. There we go. And that tells you that it's the same. Um, it tells you, there you go. So I'm going to scoot that there. Now I kind of want to see what this is going to look like with, uh, you know, kind of a background. So in here in uploads, because I know I've made other thumbnails of me in the background. So like, here's a recent video here. And if I do this, this will give me an idea of how it would show up on the screen. So I'm gonna go put that one to the back and there we go, that's that's how that would show up. And, and I don't know that I love that. Uh, let's see, I probably don't need my picture on this one. So I'm just gonna click on the delete key and then we'll probably make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, I mean, everybody kind of knows Instagram. And there we go. And then maybe I bring this down here, bring it over. I mean, this is all kind of a personal preference at this point. And then, of course, I can't see that. So I'm going to delete this. And yeah, we can end this rectangle here. Click on our rectangle. Sometimes it can be tough to get it all lined up. There we go. I actually want to move this over. I mean, this is some of this is just personal preference. I'm certainly not a graphic designer, um, but now I want to delete this background just like that. And of course, you can't see that, you know, that exists, but it does. And then this is the important part. Now we're going to download this and we're going to download this as, as a PNG. And that's how we get the transparent background. And we're going to click on download. And now we've got this, it's going to be in our, um, in our downloads folder. So let's just go take a look at what this would look like. We're going to go over to StreamYard and see about uploading this as an overlay. So I'm going to create a broadcast right here and it's going to click on like, this is just going to be a test broadcast here. And we're going to create that broadcast. And there we go. And here I am. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go to our branding area and to our overlays. And this is where we can upload an overlay. And I'm going to go to the downloads folder, which is right here. And that's it right there. So there's there's our, um, our overlay. I'm going to add myself to the stream. And there we go. Okay, so that... You know, again, personal preference on what you like and what's going to work best for you. But um, I think you can see that we kind of just went through some really simple things just to make that overlay. I, it can be really tough with other programs. I mean, I have like the whole Adobe suite and with Photoshop, it can be tricky. I'm not a Photoshop guru by any means. I can do very little on Photoshop. I find Canva so much easier to use for what I use it for. But the key thing there is to download it, what, you know, knowing the right size downloading it as a PNG with a transparent background, 
those are the parts that are really important. And then now that we've uploaded this into our StreamYard brand account, it's going to be there every single time that I show up. So in the future videos, in fact, if maybe if I refresh, oh, look at this. Okay, so here I am, I'm actually recording in in uh, StreamYard, <laughs> so a little, it's it's fun. It's This is such a great software, actually just to record your screen, I've bought software for that before. So here's our, here's our little branding thing that we just made in Canva, and it'll make it really simple for future broadcasts. So I hope you found this helpful. It tells you a little bit about StreamYard, also about Canva. And uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. I'd really appreciate that. We have a lot of viewers who are not subscribers and it would definitely help out the channel to uh, boost that subscriber base. And then plus hit that bell if you want to be notified about future videos. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being part of this channel. And I will look forward to seeing you in another video.